Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Angie here. And today in this video, I'm going to do like a quick 10 minute makeup look that could be simple for like if you're going to work or back to school. Um, basically, like a lot of the times we want to go to school looking fleeky, but then it's like we're very limited on time. For me, I'm not really punctual, so I used to have to kind of speed through the process. And when I had my first daughter, I used to start doing my makeup even on the train just because I take so long. So one of the tips I wanted to give was if you know you only have like 10-15 minutes left of the day, it's better if you narrow down like what exactly you like to get done. So if you're somebody... Um, so if you're somebody who likes to make sure you have your eyebrows done during the day, maybe you should do that first. Or if you know you need like a full foundation, um, do that. So it's very typical to do what exactly you want first, if you know what I mean. Time is left over, you could instantly like just pop on some gloss on the go, some mascara, something like that. So today I'm like really debating off of wearing some foundation because... I'm trying to make this a 10 minute look but I have like bags and I could spot conceal but I feel like my concealer is a little too light for me so I'm just going to like jump straight in I'm gonna put a little bit of foundation I'm not gonna put too much just because ugh, I almost spilled a little lot just because I'm not really a foundation person I just like to even out a little bit of my skin it doesn't look too bad judging by the TV but um I do have like a lot of bags so I just put like a little bit on my hand and I'm using the um, Maybelline fit me the dewy one because my skin is dry so I'm gonna just dab it everywhere I should time myself right I don't know probably not just because I I get caught up talking and then all the time will be taken If you're somebody who needs full coverage, then obviously that's something that you need to think about of your time. But I don't need full coverage, so I'm pretty good. Not going to necessarily skip on powder. What I'm going to do is I'm going to do my concealer and then I'm going to add like my blush, highlighter, and bronzer and then whatever like bare skin then I'll powder that but just because I don't really like putting too much powder because I'm dry and um it takes more time like I don't bake for the morning or nothing but I'm gonna just add a little bit of concealer you guys are probably like this isn't a little bit this is a little bit guys if I wanted a full beat, I'll mix this with my Tarte Shape Tape because I got it in a shade that's way lighter than, than my skin tone. Do you guys have that issue where you like go to a place and you're, you're getting like a foundation or concealer and their lighting is just like horrible and you think it's okay and when you match yourself, it looks good in the store and when you go home, you're like, what the hell? It's my issue all the time. So as you guys can see, I'm just right in. I feel like I'm not even telling you guys the items that I'm using. Uh, where is it? So for um, foundation, I did put the Fit Me Dewy. And then for the concealer, I used the Wet n Wild Photo Focus. And guys, this just took like two minutes, to be honest. Depending how much foundation and how much blending, especially if like you don't have the right shade, it'll take a little longer. But, um something for me is I just like for my skin to look even I have a lot of bags and sometimes a spot conceal because sometimes I have a good day when it comes to my under eyes but today's one of those days that's really dark the um blush I'm just going to do is the wet and wild color icon on blush this is in the color what is the color to this oh mellow wine is right there on top I feel like one side always looks better than the other. So 
something that I'ma also do, a lot of people do when they're um, doing like a quick makeup look. They'll usually use the bronzer, but I'm actually gonna take some of that blush. I just don't want it to fall. And I'm gonna take it with the Wet n Wild Blendy brush, which is the Dollar and Dollar Tree, guys. And it's like one of my favorite brushes. And I'm actually gonna pop that on my crease. Matter of fact, I'm gonna do it like all over the eyelid. It's something to make it very girly. If you want it more natural, obviously you could do your bronzer instead. And because we're not adding any other shades and just this, it's very effortless and saves a lot of time. When I was younger and I used to do my foundation, I used to always rub it in with my skin. And I used to not know how to match myself, so <laughs> I used to look so weird. But I know, I forgot what exact brand um, has it where you can actually, um, it's a BB cream that's white and it turns to your skin tone. So if you're somebody who just wants a little bit of coverage, I definitely recommend that. I'll try to find out which brand it is and pop it in the description. So the next thing I'm going to do is actually take the bronzer. I'm going to use my um, favorite is the Physicians Formula Butter Bronzer. And I just said, oh, there it is. And I'm going to use this crown brush, fan brush, or whatever. It like all the words fade out for like all my brushes. So I don't know the exact name of it, but I know I did get it from BoxyCharm and it's from Crown Brushes. And I'm going to just not contour my face with slightly bronzes. So. So, a little bit here to pucker it. So, so far, I probably spent like five minutes besides all the talking and that adds more time, obviously. So, for the part that I like is the highlighting part. So, then I'm going to be using my favorite um, drugstore highlighter, which is the Wet n Wild Precious Petals. I also have a pink, like a pinkish one. And I'm trying to think, what's the name of it? I will have to get up again to get it, so... I'm not even gonna try, but this is my favorite, and it's pop. Just, just wait and see. Look. Tell me the highlighting pop in. It's, it's pretty. Big. For those of you who have like the Canon Rebel, do your camera like does it like just randomly stop? Like mine's just always like it's like movie stopped recording. It's really weird. So I don't know what I did with my mini brush. I'm pretty sure it's like in the bathroom because I was in the process of cleaning some of my brushes. But I'm going to just use my fingers since I don't have it here. And I'm going to just dab it right here in the inner corner. I'm getting like glitter on my eyes just because I'm using the Sipping Pretty um, palette. So it has like a big mirror. I'm like using this and the glitter like comes out so now I'm just going to quickly pop on some mascara look at me I'm like getting like mascara here how in the world did I manage to do that So now that I have basically everything done, I just need to do my lips. I just go in with the Wet n Wild 
um, liquid lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. Has like a chunk there. And these guys stay on all day, so it's really good. Just because I want a little more color, I'm also going to go in with Coral Crush, and I'm only going to add a little bit. Wet n Wild has like my favorite lipsticks and they're they're very affordable. I feel like it's like one of the it's my favorite drugstore brand, guys. My favorite. I'm only putting it on the center. So but yeah, this is the look. It's very simple. Like I said, for me, I do like a more glam like look I do like highlighter to be popping so that's what I did very simple on the lips and the eyes and um thank god I didn't put no like concealer on my eyes to prime it you could definitely do that but I do plan on doing a whole nother video so I'm gonna remove the eyes you guys if you um have like a specific preference of what exactly you want done like I said if you somebody who want your eyebrows looking flaky definitely do that before you do a foundation or an eye look it's just managing your time and it does take longer like i don't know if you guys remember to when i first started my youtube channel i think i did a back to school look i'm not too sure or i did like a full look i used to always wear wing liner so that would be my first thing to do since for those who like to do eyeliner you know it's very hard to get it perfect of course over time you you get the hang of it but I would do that before I do anything else so if you're somebody that likes brows do brows first if you like wing liner do that first just make it work for your time schedules so I'll see you guys in my next video